You know something guys, when I first started doing tailoring videos, I should have showed you how to use the sewing machine from start to finish. And that's something that I haven't done. I've kind of glanced over that detail, which is very important. So right there behind me, I have a sewing machine, my sewing machine that I use to do all of my work. It's very basic. It is a Brother LX3817. You could get it at Walmart or on Amazon. It's a great basic sewing machine. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use it. So guys, walking around the sewing machine, the first thing that we're gonna have, which is kind of the most bold thing, is gonna be this big knob on the front. And this knob is gonna be the pattern selection dial. This allows you to customize the type of stitch that you're sewing. So if you wanna do like a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch, this is gonna be where you decide to choose what pattern you're gonna be sewing. The sewing machine that I have here today happens to be one that has probably about 11 different stitch patterns on there, so you have a bunch of different options. This machine also allows you to do buttonholes as well, which is something that's important, but you'll have to get an adapter for that. Right below the pattern selection dial, you have the reverse lever, and what this does is good for locking in your stitch. So if you're doing, say, a straight stitch, you're gonna use this reverse lever to lock in your stitch. And then moving to the left, the smaller dial on here is gonna be your upper thread tension control. Now, I don't ever really adjust this. I leave it on zero but I think this has something to do with the tension of the thread it's something that I've never really bothered and it hasn't stopped me from being able to sew things like pants or shirts so I really don't know much about this so just for now on leave that at a zero moving up to the top of the sewing machine you have the bobbin winder what this is responsible for is winding the small bobbin that's going to go underneath the needle underneath the sewing machine this is super important because you want to wind this up correctly it's gonna allow for a tight wind and that's gonna go better in the bottom where you put the bobbin in. Speaking of the lower thread holder, we're gonna take you down there. It's just basically there's a little plastic cover over it and in here in this hole. You put the bobbin in there and then basically wrap it around the hook and then it's gonna line it up and then you put the excess thread to the side. And this basically, when you lower the needle down with the, the, the wind on the side, it's gonna fetch some of that thread and bring it back up into the, the material and then you're gonna be able to start sewing. And then finally, what you have on the sewing machine down down at the bottom on the floor is going to be just a, a motor it's like a pedal you press it like it's a car and it's going to make the sewing machine start to move and uh, start to sew so now we're at the sewing machine and we're going to look at how to set up this sewing machine I'm going to walk you through step by step so that you have a really good grasp on how to use this so first thing we're going to put this thread up here so while we've got this up here and I'm going to flip this around I'm going to put it through there bring it through this little doohickey right here. I don't know if you can see it that well. And then we're gonna wrap it around, bring it back over, grab our bobbin, thread the bobbin, set that up right there, and then press the pedal. And that's basically gonna wind. Once the bobbin is winded up, then you're gonna basically just take it off of there and cut the excess thread. And then this is ready to go underneath down here. So take your bobbin, then you're gonna place it down here and there, and then there's a little hook. If I can get this to go through, basically hook it over and lay it to the side, and then that's good down there. Here, I'll take a closer look. So this is where that bobbin went, and then the thread comes out through there. There's a little hook in there that you can't see. Now, moving up here, you're gonna still take your thread, run it through this little thing right here, Then you're gonna bring that down. Then put the thread through the needle. This is the hardest part, to be honest. So it's the hardest part, but I got it through there. And then we're gonna also put the little cover back on there. So you could see we got this needle all set up. Now you just take your fabric we're just gonna test and put some under here. And you're gonna lower this with the lever on the side down into the fabric, and it's gonna pull up some fabric, and then you're gonna be ready to sew. So now just make sure you go in a straight line or whatever you do, then you sew, then you use your reverse on the side. You can lock it in, and then keep sewing, and then move this little thread out of the way. Then once you get done, you lift the lever foot back here and then you raise the needle, pull your fabric out. Then you're gonna have just a very basic stitch. It's gonna show on both sides, as you can see. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You just gotta know what to sew with the sewing machine. Just again, another rundown. This right here is gonna be your pattern selection. This is the reverse lever. This is your thread tensioning. 
And then you also have uh, the bobbin or the spool of thread up here. This is your bobbin winder over here. And then this, the thread is gonna come through here when you're getting ready to sew. It's gonna go down through here, then up around there. And there's a little hook in there that you have to hook it around. Then you bring it through to your needle. Over on the side, this is your, I forgot the, the name. I just call it like a roller. This allows you to control the needle. And so that's basically all there is to use in your sewing machine. I wish you the best of luck. This is just a simple straight stitch as you can see, but there's a lot of different other options and I wish you the best. So guys, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, please be sure to hit the like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and share. I'm Robert, this is Gen Style, and remember that image is everything.